The Kanban board add-on for Ultra S6 Community Edition is an add-on that provides you a better view of your tickets. Let's search for Kanban board in the Administration tab. Great! Now we can see two options, Kanban boards and Kanban columns. Let's select Kanban boards and see what's in it. Here we can add new boards and new columns. Let's set up a board. We'll name it First Board. We'll take a look at columns in a minute. We'll make it public by selecting all the groups. We'll add is a valid. Now we can also choose the colors for our board. Let's pick up some nice colors for the board and for the label. Now that we have our forced board, let's take a look at how it looks like in this new tab, call it Kamba. But there is not inside it yet, look. Let's resolve this. We'll set a new column now, by clicking here and here. Good. Well, let's fill it out. Pay attention. Name, first column. Valid. All groups. And now, we'll choose what we want to see. I'll select priority and I'll select all of them. And to unlock a few more options, we'll also choose Q, Q1 and 2. Now we'll choose how we'll see it. You can define settings such as severity order, ordination, and maximum ticket limit in a column. You can also choose to do a manual sorting. And when state or queue options are selected as filters, you can choose to set a parameter that will change after moving a ticket to this column. Submit it again. All the columns and boards appear in alphabetic order in the configurations view, but it has no influence in the Kanban view. You can even copy or delete the columns you want to. Let's head back to Kanban boards and edit our first board by clicking on it. Now we'll attach our recently created columns to our board and submit it. How does it look like? Back to Kanban. First board. And now, behold our two new beautiful columns with custom colors, tools and options. Let's explore it. As you can see, we have tons of options over here. Let's start by making it bigger with our full screen button. Notice that you can collapse the columns if you want to. The ticket cards are the most important feature here, because everything comes after it. You can move them by clicking and dragging them in different columns. They contain the ticket number, the ticket name, which is example, the age of the ticket, the ticket responsible, and a few more tools. We can easily check some details about the ticket's queue and state with a single click over here, in this tiny eye. You can choose what you want to see simply by changing the settings of ticket information details in the system configurations. It's also possible to classify the ticket through Kanban board add-on. Check this out. You can add notes. Close. Lock. And unlock it. You can manage the priority with these arrows. Notice that the color identifier changes accordingly to the priority level from blue to red. And the last feature, for now, you can also manage cues over here. 
it's really simple. Now let's jump to the system configurations. After searching for a combo over here like this, we'll see all the core options for our add-on. It's beautiful, you can change everything. Priority colors, information details, time to reload and so on. Kanban board is super nice and incredibly user-friendly. And as you know, it has the most important quality. It's fully customizable. Get this add-on and improve your service quality. Get in touch with us. I see you in the next video.